Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to N1800 Sunken Treasures. Well, we are on a treasure hunt right now. We are hunting some animal artifacts. And this is a legendary treasure hunt that we just found where we can now put the diving bell down and see what we get out of this. The croc can spit the name of the treasure hunt is. And you guessed it right. We're looking for animals for our suit there still. And we got a swordfish. Oh, that's not very spectacular since it was a legendary treasure hunt after all. And it's just a blue rare item. I was hoping for an epic or legendary fish there somehow that we haven't seen yet. But well, you can't change that. For now, you guessed it. I want to build my zoo in this episode. And it's going to be a bigger endeavor since the zoo is quite complex. Just like the museum where we, when it comes to the layout, you know. And... I do have a dilemma right now. Tomorrow, the new DLC, Botanical Gardens, is going to be released. And for this, we're going to need another space, you know, another area where we can build those gardens than that botanical garden there. And I think it's either going to be on this island there or on this island there. I don't know how big the DLC is, so I want to reserve some space there. So we're going to use this island here from tomorrow onwards. And I want to build my zoo on this island here. It's rather small. But, you know, we know what we can expect out of a zoo. And we do have some artifacts for that. And we do have some influence for that. And it is the last quest, I think, at least. I mean, it's the last quest that I have from the Queen. The capital of culture. So let's have a look at this once again here. So the Queen is set on turning Crown Falls into a landmark of culture. A place to attract distinguished visitors from far and wide. Though they say culture is priceless, tourists tend to be quite lucrative too. So that is something... That is the goal here. Oh, we do have some propaganda again. And it's looking good this time. We can use actually our influence here for minus 30 consumption on this one here since the rest is green. Definitely a good thing. So minus 30 consumption should push it quite right there. And I want to have my zoo here. But before we go to the actual zoo layout, we still have workers here. And I don't like that. I don't have workers close to my zoo. So let's see what they need. All they need is a school, those workers here. We do have some nice layout here, so I would like to have my, well, my school, I guess, here, in this area there. We do have some screen space there. It is the end of the main road here, after all. You know, then we have the railway going this way here, through the alley there between the trees. Something I really like. It's looking beautiful there. And here, we do have enough space now for a school that we can build here. Perfect. So this should fulfill the need here for those workers there fill it up there to the latest and to the last brim and perfect look at that we can have now artisans here and this is just this is just looking beautiful when we can upgrade so many of them i always love it upgrading so many buildings at once and yeah definitely looking much better now having those artisans here close to the zoo much better so now. So look at that. We now have the museum here, the artisans living here, and here we have the Sudan, and here we're going to have the botanical gardens then tomorrow onwards. Or or we actually replace this here with the botanical gardens. I don't know yet, you know. I don't know where we get that space from. Even Crown Falls is that big. Well the city is quite big there too. And we also have some farmers here, something I would probably want to change there too. So this is no longer a farmer village, but rather a worker village here on this side there. And here I've already laid the groundwork, so we do have some bridges there. It doesn't look that pretty, right? Probably, mm, I don't know, probably getting rid of that bridge here again at some point. And let's start with the zoo that we have here now. So I'm going to start it in blueprint mode. Hopefully it's starting in blueprint mode. And we want to have the zoo somewhere here, I guess. So it definitely should be in the middle to the road. Perfect. That's that. And now we need to start off with a compound. Actually, look at that. We could have a limit of 100 animal compounds there. That's quite a lot. In my opinion, it's quite a lot. And here we can then have the compounds now. Hmm. It's a big question how we start. Probably something like that. I want to have something here in the middle, you know, something where my people can enjoy the day. And then we finish it off like that. This is not working out. We don't have enough space there. Whoops. Let's get rid of this one here once again. And we could also have it like... Like this. And then we have a little pathway here through that, you know, so people can 
enjoy the scenery there by the river. And then we have more compounds than here. Probably something like that. Yeah, this is looking good. We don't want to have too many. I don't I, I don't want to use all my influence on the zoo there. So this is looking quite good. We have a nice little cozy zoo then here on the side there, surrounded by trees on this little island there, and we can still we can still kind of like have some more compounds here then. Well, actually, why not just do it now? I mean, the problem is we can't have a street going through that here, you know. Those compounds here, they need to connect to each other. That is a bit of a design issue here that we have. So I can just build, like, some compounds there on this side here. Just only like that here, you know, so then they would connect. But I can't connect them with a street. So I could have it going all the way up there. And then over here too. And we could probably do the same thing over here, kind of like, if we want to. But, well, that's something for future. I don't. I doubt that we're going to use that many compounds anyway. Consuming a lot of influence, after all. And let's see, this is looking quite central there, isn't it? It's looking good, I think. Yes. So we could have it like that. Is this, is this aligning here? I think this is working better. Perfect. So that's that. That's the zoo. And in here, we could have, like, now those beautiful ornaments that we have. We also got some ornaments like the mosaic paving from our architectural exhibition. So that's what we can do. That's something. Alrighty. Unfortunately, we cannot upgrade the suit just like that. So we are going to pave the way for 90 influence. And we do have our layout. So let's build this one. Once again, we have it here now with the center. That's the soup, perfect. And then we have those animals here. And now this time we don't need to have the blueprint mode activated anymore. So we're going to have two compounds there on either side. The same thing here. And then we close the whole thing off with two compounds on that side. So people can go through that one here. Oh, and we also get another diving bell quest. Let's just do that too. And on this side here, we could have it... Let's see. Actually, let's activate the blueprint mode for that side here. Yeah, we could have it like that. Okay, so we can still have some ornaments around it. Perfect. And then we just connect it here now with the street. Three streets there, fitting perfectly into the middle. So we can have some ornaments on either side if we want to. Very good. And we still haven't finished the quest there. Yeah, we have to build the compound that we've done. And then we need to equip it with an animal before we can do that. So, before we do that, let's use our new mosaic paving here that we have. And I hope it's, it's looking good in this case. So, we could have them here. We only have 20 of them, though. That's a pity. Like, we could have a little World's Fair Pavilion here in the middle, too. The cool thing about that is it could kind of sort like work like a greenhouse that you have there in the middle. You know, in the middle of the zoo. Having that. Perfect. And then you have those pavings there going from the pavilion there. From the entrance there to the pavilion. And then on the other side there too. And this whole thing is accompanied by some benches, I guess. Let's have a look at them. Some benches and also some fountains this one here oh this is not working out in this case but it would be working out here and then we have a normal let's see a normal paving there once again Oh, it's a difficult to find those things there. There it is, the hatches. Going to build it all the way up there. And here we then have the end of it. And on those sides here, let's see, we do have those fountain gardens that we can have here still. Very good, looking symmetrical. Always important to have that. 
and then we can have those oh actually we already have those benches then here with the fountains so i don't need to add them here additionally what i want to have here is perhaps a few flower beds or something like that let's add some animals first shall we do that because then i can kind of like imagine that easier we do have quite a lot of animals there like the great white shark epic let's build it so there we have it and this is the next oh okay so the next step would be a public mooring for tourists right away sir just want to fill it out here with some animals there the sperm whale and then we have another great white shark and another sperm whale there for now okay and i'm going to finish it off with two seahorses on those sides there this is looking pretty and yeah something here in between let's see definitely no trees i don't want to have any trees here because you know that would just hinder our the site here to the animals there i want to have let's see a few pavilions over here is that looking good i don't know those things, it, it's just a pity, you know, those things mostly just don't fit together. It doesn't matter how you put it, they all have different pavings. It's a bit of a pity there that we can't use it properly. And here we have a statue at the end. Hmm, yeah, I guess, I guess you could have it like that. And then we have some flower beds there. On those sides here. Right, so this would be the end of the zoo. And here we just have some patches of grass for now. You could always have something different there. Patches of grass around that zoo there. And then we have some more compounds here that I can still build. The problem is... Oh, actually, does this really cost me... Yeah, 40 influence. One compound costs me now 40 influence, not 10 anymore. So I'm going to keep it like that for now. Okay, so around that, we probably want to have some other ornaments, I guess. This is not looking perfect right now. Nothing ever looks perfect. Anyway, and here, after all, this is the beginning of the zoo, kind of. We want to have some, perhaps some hedge or some fence going around it. It's a small zoo, I know that. It's a small zoo, but look at that. It cost me 40 uh, influence now to build a compound. This is just insane, to be honest. Does it really cost that? No, it cost me 10. I think this is a bug then. If we would upgrade the compound, it cost me 40. But if I build it for real, like that, it cost me 10 influence. You know, so now we built them perfect. Okay, so that, that's much better, of course. And yeah, I do need a bit more influence there, so let's just upgrade a few more engineers right away, sir. And as you can see, I'm getting that influence pump that I like so much. 23 influence there, perfect. So let's get rid of that compound there and just have another compound here, a real compound. Very good. So here I can use different more animals then for the future. And around that, I really just want to have like trees, I guess, not fences all the time. Having fences there all the time just doesn't look good. Can we have a fence here? And we can't even have that here, you know, so. That's something else. Okay, and here we have those streets there. So we still need a bit more, a few more ornaments here then in the, in the front. We could have the fountain plaza here. On those sides. And I definitely want to have, let's see, some trees here. Very good. And then some trees here going into that, into the zoo there. And perhaps, I mean, unfortunately, we don't have any stature for animals, you know. Do we have that, actually? Yeah, we have the bronze lion. Isn't that a good thing? We could have the bronze lion there. Here. Perfect. So the zoo is surrounded by two elephants and in front of it the big majestic lion there. That's looking good. Perfect. 
And around that, I still don't know what to do with that space here, though. Could we have a fountain plaza there? Or we just have a fence there with some smaller things there? Hmm, it's a difficult decision there. Let's see. Let's see how it looks when I build it. Oh, we also have those towers there. Let's see if I built them there. It's a bit too much, right? Definitely is starting to look like something. I like this one. I like this one for now. We have a greenhouse there. We can imagine that it's a greenhouse there in the middle, even though we can only see some benches. And in those little plazas there, I actually also want to have something else. And that is, hmm, let's have a look. The kiosk, I think. Yeah, so there we can, you can buy something, you know, about the zoo or some food, probably. Something like that. While you go around looking at those animals. right? -o. I like the beginning here. Perhaps instead of those trees, we have flowers there. Flowers are always nice to have. Especially in the entrance, you know, we don't want to have too many trees there in the entrance. That would just reduce the sight that we have on it. But here we can definitely have some trees then. Very good. So now I just need to think about something here that we can have then. Well, we can think about it later. For now... Um, I also have the quest here, Dive to Find the Dead Manta Ray. That sounds like a good artifact there for the zoo. Or, my, I mean, it's a dead, dead fish, it sounds like that. We'll see. We do have the swordfish there. Very good. And let's follow that quest here. So there is the first diving spot. We still have 20 minutes on that. Enough time to fulfill it. And we can focus on the next quest here, that public mooring. So we still need something for our tourists. We have the commute pier. Actually, that's something I want to have somewhere else. Far away, probably. Of course, this also means that we need to remodel our harbor for that. So let's get rid of those depots there for now. Let's have them somewhere else. Lots of those depots. In the middle there, we have the pier. Only one of them, though, for now. So... I definitely want to have more of them. Look at that. It's a huge waiting line here. That shouldn't be the case either. There is another depot here. Let's get it over there for now. And let's get this commute here over on this side here for now. Hopefully we do have the space there. Perfect. There it is. Just for now. So we can focus a bit more on a beautiful big looking harbor there. This is looking fine for now. Let's get rid of that K here. And then we only have the pier. And there's the other one. So on those sides we would have them. Or we could also have them like this. Lucky for us we got lots of space here. So it shouldn't be that much of a deal to have them. Let's see, I could have, let's see, over here we have the K. So the K kind of goes all the way out here. And I think we can build them along the K, right? Yeah, you can actually build them like this. And I think the ships there are in the way. And we also want to have a beautiful K over there then. So we have another pier. Let's have the pier here. Just beside the warehouse there. And then we have another K going out here. Perfect. I think we can have some depots here then. Very good. Oh, we can't have that here. Free harbor area is needed. When actually we do have some free harbor area there. We could have... Could we have the harbor master office there? Yeah, we can have that. That's a good one. Costing us some influence there again. Another 20, so you know what we have to do. 
right we just have to upgrade a few more engineers let's use them here look at that we got the influence right back and then we can build the harbor master office it's always important to have this in the in the center there because we have some items there that increase the loading speed like hogarth the harbor master veteran of trelawney and he speeds up the loading speed of plus 100 percent and the harbor activity but plus 30 percent so ships unload and load much faster and that's something we definitely want to achieve there because the space is limited that's that then we want to have some well should we have some cannon towers there that would look impressive for sure problem is such, such a huge line here look at that not that easy to build it let's just keep it like that for now and we have the public mooring right so that's something we want to have and it should look pretty and nice and we're going to have it over here for our tourists and that's a public mooring the next step of the quest here so people can enter our town here and we're going to also greet them then with some statues of course. I think there was this, yeah, 20, uh, 1602 memorial. Very good. And we could also have some, let's see, probably something bigger there. Oh, and this is not possible over there anymore, so let's get rid of it. And, oh, we already got a visitor. Fernando de Faro. Susanna Bright Woman, they're all legendary items there and we finished the last quest and it seems like there's nothing else coming up anymore on this side. So we probably really have finished it up for good this time. The queen shuts up, nothing else anymore. We still have the diving bell quest here. That's just some scraps that we have over there, so let's get to the next diving area. Well, we still have something to do here. And right, we also want to have... Yeah, let's like use some cypresses here. Going to those sides there. And over here, we could use a big fountain garden there on either side. Perfect. And actually, let's, let's get rid of them again. I'd rather have those trees there. And that's the temperate grove, right? Very good. Beautiful location there. And people are also greeted with those beautiful statues there. And here, well, we could have... I guess we can just have a more area here for the... Uh, okay, yeah. Like that. And, whoa, do I get another item already? Oh, okay, it's in the old town this time. Veteran firefighter. Only a rare item, though. Very good, so our people coming in here now and they see that those beautiful statues there and feel at home right away to our beautiful Cape Trelawney. And then, well, let's just have some patches of green, some grass here then. All the way over there and also here. Beautiful green area there too, here in the harbor area. Just a place where you like to take a walk and enjoy the scenery. And of course we do have some free space here, so I'm just going to use this as another area that we can populate, you know, with more buildings then. I guess we don't need to have green areas everywhere, so here we also have lots of green space that we can still fill out. And this is something we can definitely do in the next DLC then. 
botanical gardens. So we have finished the last main quest of Cape Trelawney. That's the end, kind of, of this DLC. We kind of built everything the queen wanted from us and a big city. And I'm just going to finish this treasure hunt there. We're not finding what he wants from us. A dead Manta Ray that we can probably also use on the zoo there right away, on this beautiful zoo there. Where I still need to think about a nice finish, a nice touch here that we could have. I mean, we could have a fence, of course. Or a hatch. Something along the line there. But it's a beautiful suit there nonetheless. I like this one. It's small, but it has character. <laughs> With the greenhouse there in the middle. And it's primarily focused on, yeah, well, sea animals. Even though we could have some epic bears on the hiking trail. We definitely saw some of them. And here we have now, perfect, a dead Manta Ray. So let's bring it back to old Nate and get our rewards for that. An ore extractor. Only a common item though, so nothing really fancy. And with this view, I'm going to leave it for now. We are going to continue tomorrow with the new DLC and I'm very much looking forward to all the new things that we can see there. And also with that suit that we finally built. A small one though. I hope you're not disappointed with that. There's a huge botanical garden coming here though. So we definitely need to reserve the area. And we are also going to give this suit here a finish then in the next episode. With the new DLC activated already. And with that, Sunken Treasures comes to an end. Uh, it was a very, very fun DLC. I really, really loved the, the new map there. And definitely offered whole new possibilities in city building here. With so much space to build and we're definitely also going to continue on this map here and upgrading lots and lots of new buildings there. And this city is still going to change a lot in the upcoming days and weeks. Stay tuned.